Hey Mzansi, it's been so many months already and South Africans are still seeking for justice for AKA. We know fully well that the top iconic South African rapper hasn't received any justice yet. But in today's video, the police has finally revealed another investigation about AKA and they revealed some very pertinent detail that I'm here to share with each and every one of you. Kindly watch this video right up to the end so that you understand and comprehend comprehend the occurrence of every single event. Before I give you all the detailed information, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel please, like this video, drop a comment and hit on to my post notification bell. Police in KwaZulu-Natal have excused media reports claiming a gun utilized in the killing of hip bounce star Kieran and otherwise known as Forbes and of course all of these things have definitely been rebuked. No gun has been recuperated yet. This comes after reports that a man in his mid-twenties was tracked down, possessing an unlicensed gun in Umlazi, south of Deban, at the end of the week. It was accounted for, the gun was sent to ballistic testing and returned positive as a weapon used to firearm down Forbes. In the words, I quote, a few media houses who plainly appear to be recklessly determined twisted to mess up any police tries to track down the executioners and carry equity to the groups of people in question began the day on tuesday morning with unconfirmed bits of gossip and malevolent claims about the recuperation of the supposed deadly weapon said common police representative lieutenant colonel robert these cold-hearted, deceptive, and discourteous revealing has extraordinarily capability of furnishing the people of interest with ammo to additionally muddle police progress into the matter. He expressed claims of this nature put the researching group under excessive tension and imperil their lives. Nishianda said police are making one more allure for individuals from the media to regard the course of examination to cease from distributing unwarranted charges and hypotheses, and to think about the unseen side effects of the activities. He as well didn't just end there, he proceeded and said, Police are gaining great headway in the examination, and when everything looks good, the public will be educated appropriately. In the words, I quote, Columnists are likewise exhorted against forming baseless claims for the sole explanation of setting off a response or requesting critic from the police. The energy to break the story ought to never outperform the obligation to report honestly and morally. Forbes was gone down externally on Italy in Durban on February 10th. Of course, we know fully well that he actually went out there in order to have fun, in order to celebrate his birthday, in order to have a show in Durban, but then again, things happened the way they did. You will tell me without any judgment what you think about all what is ongoing and the police revelation and rebuking the gun thing.